Baltimore Eats is at the B&O American Brasserie in Baltimore. We're here with Executive Chef Brad Willits. Hi, Brad. How are you? How are you doing? So how long have you been at the B&O? Uh, about a year and two months. Have you enjoyed it? I love it. Tell us briefly, just run through the dishes that are sitting here in front of you, the names, what they are, real quick. Uh, first thing, we got the B&O burger. Um, we got the new uh, spring cobbler, uh, strawberry rhubarb cobbler with uh, strawberry ice cream. We got the scallops with bacon sausage, the smoked shrimp agnolotti, and then the snapper and watermelon tartare. Keep it seasonal based on what's available locally? Definitely. So tell us a little bit about that. Um, well, we're starting to use more and more farms. Uh, like right now we're using mostly a lot of uh, protein farms, like we're using Warshaw Oysters from Virginia, um, Gunpowder Farms from Maryland. Um, <clears throat> we're using Creekstone Farms, it's not really local, but it's still, it's uh, Kansas, it's a great company. Um, we're gonna, we have uh, Five Seeds Farms here in Baltimore. We're gonna be start, we're starting to use them guys today. And then there's uh, two more other ones that are pending. Uh, where have you been and how long have you been a uh, chef? Well, when uh, I was a kid, my dad opened a restaurant when I was 10 years old. And so during the summertime, I'd go visit him, uh, start working. I first started working probably the most dangerous spot, the fryer for some reason. So my dad would just let me go get burned off from the fry station, hang out. And then um, I would just visit during the summer times and do that. And then I lived in Vero Beach. His restaurant was in Sarasota, Florida. So I went to school in the summertime, I'd go over there. And then once I turned 16, I started busting tables in restaurants. And then 18, they asked me to work in the kitchen, Garmage, and then worked at like three restaurants in Vero Beach, Florida. I became sous chef at one, and then Ben Tinch, he promoted me to be to executive sous, or, uh, chef de cuisine. So he had rotator cuff surgery, so he was, out, he was out for like a year. So he let me do whatever I wanted on the menu, whatever, and then I moved to Charleston, South Carolina. I worked with uh, Jeremiah Bacon, Sean Brock, at McCready's and at Caroline's Bistro. And um, then I got the opportunity to work for Kimpton back in Vero Beach, Florida, crazily. And uh, they uh, permitted me to shift a cuisine immediately and then worked there for three years. And then Tom Dunklin, the chef here, who's the head of Kimpton Culinary Programs, asked me to come be the executive chef here at the B&O. So I heard you started your restaurant career with your dad uh, burning yourself behind a fryer. Tell us a little bit about that. It's true. Uh, when I was yeah, 10, 11, my dad opened up a restaurant in uh, Sarasota, Florida. I lived in Vero Beach, and uh, every summer I'd go visit him. Either he'd be like, what do you want to do? It's like, too late, you're coming with me to the restaurant. And so I'd get my skateboard and go work there and then go skateboard. And then, yeah, I worked the fryer. He let me like fry fish because I had batter fish and then cook french fries, homemade french fries, and dishes. So that was the beginning of it. So tell us what happens on Monday nights at the B&O. Monday nights, starting next Monday, we are starting a, it's, it's like more like a French brasserie menu. It's going to be uh, lots of, we're doing a couple of different sausages. We're doing oysters in the brick oven. We're doing, we're actually utilizing our brick oven to cook almost everything in. Besides, we're not, we're not going to saute, we're just going to roast everything in the oven. It's going to have everything from you know chicken, flatbreads, uh, mussels, oysters, sausages, cheeseburger. It's going to be just a variety of stuff coming out of one brick oven. Now we're ready to try some amazing dishes at the B&O Brasserie. And for me, no summer is complete without fresh seafood and fresh watermelon. And I get the best of both worlds here in this snapper crudo. And we have red snapper. There's red pepper juice and of course watermelon and avocado puree and this looks so fresh and colorful the fish is so fresh and tender it almost just melts in my mouth and the pop of flavor from that watermelon is just amazing another great appetizer on the menu is the smoked shrimp agnolotti and the pasta that it comes with is handmade by the chef and as we know he has some italian roots there's a cardamom and carrot puree, along with a sea urchin butter. The flavors blend together beautifully. There, it almost tastes like there's a lemon in the sauce. So it's, it's very bright and very creamy at the same time. In the entrees is a scallop with bacon sausage. 
I've never had bacon sausage before, so I'm excited to try this one. There's some mushrooms, a little bit of olive oil. Mmm. Let me get a little bit of the sausage here, too. This dish is a lot of fun. It's smoky. There's a lot of deep, complex flavors. And it's even a little bit of woodsy with the mushrooms. But it's definitely a nice light dinner that I think anyone can appreciate. Now the B&O burger is a serious burger. And as you can see, all these layers, it's ginormous. And there's a bacon jam, some chow chow, and of course, a big, fat, juicy burger. I'm just gonna scrape from the middle here, get all the good stuff, because who needs all that bread? These flavors are amazing. And for being such a big burger, it packs a ton of flavor. The chow chow, it's just like having a ton of pickles on this burger. And the bacon jam, it's smoky and it's sweet. Definitely like one you've never had before. And finally, another one of my favorites about summer is it's strawberry season. And there's a strawberry rhubarb crumble on their dessert menu. And we have strawberries, rhubarb, a delicious, looks like an oat crumble and strawberry ice cream, and it looks homemade. The tartness from the strawberries, it's not overly sweet at all, but there's this creamy hominess about the crumble topping on there, and everything blends together beautifully. And see us for our fresh seasonal menu at the B&O American Brasserie.